Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Welcome back to part two of this series on creating an e-commerce app. So in the last video, we kind of created this recycler view here and we just kind of filled it in with some dummy data, uh, organic apples, but this could be fruits, it could be vegetables, it could be tables and chairs and cards, cars or card tables or beds or like, it could be anything. But um, I mean, you use I use recycler views all the time, every day at least, like that's how stuff is done on Android. So anyway, so in the last video, we created this grid. In this video, I wanna actually make it where we can press on a product and it will go to that product page. So this might be a little bit long. I don't know how long this will be, but it won't take too long to figure out how to actually uh, go ahead and make it where you can like press on an apple and it opens up that page with more details about it, like maybe the pricing, maybe some nutrition facts or just whatever this is gonna be. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I don't really like the color there. And just to kind of review, we have our model here with our products, we've got our main activity here. We're using a placeholder image. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be gray. And then I'll do zero, 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 zero there. And if you, if you, I'll try to post this code onto GitHub, but let's go to the emulator. Here it opens up. So now we just changed the color. So right now it's just random images, but later, like if you have your actual images, which you get from like Firebase or Google Cloud Platform, then you can actually just put in your, put in the URL right there. Um, actually later on in this series, we'll be working with JSON data and JSON. We'll actually use something like Firebase or maybe Cloud Functions from Google, from Google Cloud Platform or GCP. So we'll just have to see. But for now, here we go. So we have our we have our uh, we have our products there. I, I want to style this a little bit differently. So I, the text is way too big. Organic apples is way too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and close all of this. And if you're working along with me, I'll try to post this on GitHub where you can uh, where you can get it from there. Uh, what was going to? Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and go into let's pull up the, the emulator again. So yeah, yeah. So here we are. So let's let's make the text smaller. Okay. So let's go to product row. And we have our text here, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make that uh, 16 SP. So use DP, uh, use DP for widths and heights and margins and padding, and then S, text should always be an SP. That's just where, just better. It's just, that's the way you need to do it. Uh, so here we are. So we have our image there, we have our name there. And I noticed if we go back to main activity, we actually have a price, but we aren't displaying it. So let's just go ahead and display the price really quick. So let's do that. Let's do text view, wrap, wrap, and then we'll give this an ID of price. Uh, then we'll, uh, uh, sorry about that, my keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time. So we'll give it, we have an ID of price. Let's go ahead and do this. So it's at the top left and it has wrap content. So I'm gonna go ahead and do tools, text equals um, name, uh, let's see, uh, price. Actually, I'll put in dollar five nine nine, just some random price. And you're probably wondering why is, why are we getting that error there? Well, this tools is only for preview, so it's just when you're developing the app, it'll show up here. It's not actually going to show up when you build the APK and put it up on Google Play. So let's click on it, option enter, and boom, there we are. So now we see we have five ninety nine up there, and that's just kind of this is just kind of just for us to play with. So it's not actually going to show up like I just it's not actually going to show up inside of the app. Uh, so like when you go to publish it. Okay, so we have that. Now we need to do something. Let's do uh, left, left, parent, right, right, parent. And we'll make the we'll make the width now. Where's the width? I'm gonna reformat the code. We'll make the width, uh, we'll make it zero DP. And there it is. And then one more text, align, and we'll do center. So, oh, one more thing. So we want the top of this to be to the bottom of the title up there. So title and there we are. So now we are. Now let's add a little bit of spacing because I'm noticing right now that there's a lot of there's like the picture there. So there's the image, there's the name and there's the price. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do let's do padding top and we'll do it 12 dp just to give some space in there. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and copy that and put it down to there. And by the way, I usually, you notice, I usually, I usually work in the text mode. If you want to go into the design mode, you can do that. And it's just, I just, I just, I just like it text and text mode. But however you want to do it, design might be a little bit easier. But uh, I like, overly oh, like the text. So here's the code here. And again, I'll try to post it to GitHub. So I'm going to go ahead and run it just to make sure that's good. So give it a second. It's Build, building, installing the APK, and here we are. Okay, so now, now, oh, but we aren't actually, actually, we don't see the price because even though we put the price into here, we haven't, we need to go into our recycler view 
and we need to do this. I'm going to duplicate that line. Then I'm going to do Control G to select both that and that. Then I'm going to type Price, Enter, and then it changes both the price there and there. So I'm going to reformat the code. And if I go ahead and run this, you'll see that we still don't see the price. Uh, and the reason is because we don't. We, even though we set up our reference to it, we haven't set it up here in the on bind view holder. So let's do this. Uh, we'll do uh, holder dot price dot text equals and then products position dot price, and it's given us an error. And I think we need to do dot to string because if you look back at our model here, it says the price is a double, and so it's basically a number, and we wanna convert that into a string, so what we have to do is we have to do that. So that's, that's all cool. Now I'm kind of noticing we have that in a lot of different places. We have it in th three places right now. We have products, position. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a variable for that. Actually, we, I think we can do it this way. I'm gonna use the refactor tool, and we'll call this do all three instances, and then we'll call this product. So here we are. So instead of doing this three times, we're going to set it to a variable and then just use it there, there, and there. So in those three places there. And if you're not familiar with it, the refactoring, um, if you want, you can right click. Or say I want to rename something or whatever. I can, uh, I'll just select some text. I can right click on it and go to refactor. And then you can extract stuff. You can rename stuff, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you just want to type this out for now, it's okay. I like I like the keyboard shortcuts, but there we are. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and see. Just I run it all the time just to make sure that uh, it's working. Okay, so we have our price there. Um, now the color is not black, so let's change the color to black. Let's do this. Let's do text color, and we'll do black there. And then we'll copy that from the pride title and do it to the price, so the price will also have black text gonna run it and we should see it in black text and we do cool so here are all our products so let's think of what else we need to do I don't really like the icon there that's a mail icon it's the floating action button let's get rid of that okay let's go to let's go to a drawables folder I'm gonna do a new vector asset and you can see I just use this actually so you can click on there and here are all these icons you can use for free just select any one you want to use they have icons for everything uh, pan tools uh, party mode pause different kinds of styles they have numbers they've got like eating and uh, laptops but we can just search all of those and we're, we're looking for the search icon so okay next finish and then here it is it shows up here and there's our search icon cool Okay, now to actually use it, let's go to activity main, and then let's do this. Let's do, oh yeah, we need to do, so to actually use use the IC, use the search icon we just imported, let's do um, IC cert, can't, and there we go. And, let's, oh, so yeah, if we run it right now, you'll notice that we can't see anything, or it didn't appear to do anything. But that's actually not the case. It's actually black, but it's a it's black on black, so you can't see it. So let's change the color of this. So floating action button tint equals f f f f f f, which is white. So now you can see it in our preview there. And if I go ahead and run it, you'll notice. Sure enough, uh, well, you'll see this. Let's see. Yeah. So sure enough, there now we have our search icon. So this is kind of cool, and this is really material design, like all this stuff we could have used card view to make it I, I don't not for this case I kind of see going in like this is probably a better way but we have our floating action button so let's try to make it where when we press on a product it'll go to the next or, we, or when we click on a product we want to make that open up a new product screen with details where they can add it to their cart so this video is kind of long we're at 10 minutes but you know what, I'll go ahead and stop it here, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. I'm going to stop the video here, um, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll make it where we can press on a product and go to a product screen. So I'll see you in the next video.